we would like to find Laplace transform of this piecewise continuous function f. So let's go towards finding it. So we know how a Laplace transform is defined. It is uh, an improper integral from 0 to, and as I said, it is improper. So 0 to infinity e to the negative alpha s, okay, and uh, uh, just a second, I apologize, e to the negative s uh, t times the function, okay, where we have to note that s is a positive number. I apologize for bringing alpha in from I don't know where. So anyways, let's compute this integral. So now you can see that we have two different definitions or two different expressions defining this function. So we will just go ahead and split the integral in those two ways. So first one would be 0 to uh, 2 and uh, then we have this part okay and uh, I don't know why I copied that but anyways you know that part is how much t right okay and uh, then we go from 0 to infin uh, sorry rather Two to infinity, okay, infinity upper limit of this improper integral, and uh, then e to the negative st times zero, and then we are integrating that. So fortunately, this will get out of our way. For I shouldn't say fortunately. All right, but anyways, that is out of our way. All right, so now all that it comes down to is evaluating this integral. So this would be integration by parts, and uh, what we will do is that we will just go ahead and let's just r compute the integration by parts first here, okay? All right, so we have t times e to the negative s t dt. Now you know or recall that one of the ways of writing integration by parts is what? The integral u dv is uv minus v du. So what we are going to do is uh, this for that integral. Let's take u as t. You are used to doing that from your earlier calculus class and dv as this. All right, so we have if, I have, if I have my u as t, my du would be dt and this means that my v will be the anti derivative of this quantity here and s is a constant okay so if you go ahead and replace this uh, negative st by another variable say w all right then by using your substitution method, what you would find this integral equal to? You will find this equal to e to the negative st over s, right? So what this means simply is that, that here we go, v is this quantity, right? So let's write this down according to 
the integration by parts so we have uv so we got our u who is my v v is this guy all right minus we will have uh, what we will have v du so this is my v and my du is how what my du is dt okay so going ahead in that fashion what we have is let me scroll up the board all right so we got uh, let's just remove this parentheses and uh, we can write our t here in this simplification this negative when comes out will become a positive okay and uh, let's also pull 1 over s out and what that is going to do is that that is going to just leave this integral for us okay and uh, then going ahead in the fashion what we have is this integral we just had computed that equals uh, this quantity so what we have is uh, we have this here right so what we got is that we got negative when this s multiplies with the s here that will become positive sorry that will become to the power 2 and this will come up here and I think now we have everything accounted for right so what we would do now is that we shall uh, so now all that we have to do is uh, remember we did it short while ago that this whole thing boils down to or comes down to evaluating it between 0 and 2 right so my lower limit is how much that's a 0 and uh, my upper limit is what that's a 2 okay so here if I write it for t equals 2 so this is uh, what would I get here t equals 2 right and here also I shall have 2 right then I'm going to put the lower limit down and when we put the lower limit over here uh, what we get is this part is uh, <coughs> simply going to become 0 and this will be 0 and uh, when uh, here what do we have here again we have simply a zero right okay so this whole quantity will become let's leave this as it is so as we said zero multiplied with this will give us a zero here and the negative and this negative will become positive and e to the 0 is going to become a 1 right so we have s square on the bottom so I can take s square as the common denominator so what will that give us here we will have another factor of s for combining these fractions okay then uh, this would stay as it is okay negative 2s and this also stays as it is so what we got is that uh, the Laplace transform if f is given by that function equals uh, what 
equals simply this value all right so let me know if this doesn't uh, 